Oh, there's so many things that we can do. Look at all the things that we can explore. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Trail Makers. I'm sorry. I have I'm having too much fun with that cannon. <laughs> that cannon is so much fun. I, I, I shot off a few shots. Anyways, welcome back to some more Trail Makers. Hopefully, you all are having an absolutely wonderful, fantastic day. I'm having a pretty good day myself. Anyways, we are back. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna do more things, more stuff. You know how it is. You know how it goes. Now, um, I actually saw somebody comment. And I liked what they commented. They were talking about, I mean, it, it was probably a couple comments or like people telling me over, anyways, uh, it was about putting the magnet on hinges, which I really never even thought of. Um, but if we go to like rotate, we go to this way, we can actually throw, uh, we can actually throw these on hinges and control them and move them like up and down and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, that's a cool idea. So we're gonna try that out um, along with other things, hopefully uh, building more things, doing more stuff, you know the basics the same old same old um but yeah thank you guys so much for coming out hopefully you enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more so uh let's do z and x on these ones uh and then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to attach ourselves a gadget a magnet perfect all right so uh oh Okay, we're gonna try this. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Now we're gonna try it on this guy right here. Uh, this is actually a power core, so we could always use power cores. Boop. And then voila! Oh shoot! The only problem is, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, it's kind of hard to to drive while I'm also holding <laughs> another button constantly. Hey, we got a power core. <laughs> 66% complete 66% complete okay so we got all that stuff that's all fine and dandy now um I think we've gotten pretty much everything over here if I'm not mistaken let's take a peek here uh yeah okay so what I'm actually gonna do is we're gonna backtrack a little bit because I think we need to go over to these island areas because I think there's some sub submarine stuff here that we need to get and I think we should be able to grab the stuff now but let's get ourselves back over here. Let's go check this out. Is there a way, like, is there a faster way to get over here? We could just drop off the thing and then take a speedboat um, all the way around. Actually, we might as well, let's just do that. Yeah, let's just do that. Alrighty, so we made it on over here. Now, there's some parts in here we need to grab. And I believe, I believe, if I was reading comments correctly, that our submarine cockpit thing, the submarine, like, control thing, might be over here maybe if i read these right i don't know maybe i'm wrong let's see that one's negative 155. i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get to those yet maybe it's not over here maybe it was a different area um i don't see i don't see this one here anywhere there must be a cave here okay all right so maybe it's not that one Let's go and look. Oh, these are negative. That's a lot of negatives. Hmm. You know what? I wonder if it was this one. The salvage is negative eight. It was on the island in the water. Oh, I wonder if that was it. Okay, let's go do that one first. Cause it's only negative eight underwater. I think we can probably grab that one. We can probably use our, uh, our little monster truck guy and grab that one. You know what? We do have four cores that are not used right now. Uh, let's do this. Let's get rid of these. And let's actually pop on some jets on there. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab one of those guys. We're going to go ahead and rotate it around. Perfect. And then let's duplicate it. Put it on this one. Maybe. Can you get on there? Perfect. And engines. Rotate. Wonderful. And we'll do this one over here. I wonder if that's going to help us turn better. Perfect. All right, let's try that. Let's see. Uh, I honestly would say the turning's about the same. <laughs> it's not any bad. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So let's go check this one out. This hole right here. Let's just 
go ahead and scrape up on land and let's swap out for uh that's not really the one i want but i'm wondering if it's that one right there actually hold on a second what if we just swap out for this guy do i have any unused power cores on this uh, I do, I do. Let's get uh, let's get some more raw engines on here. This thing is just so darn slow on land. Perfect. Let's see if that's any better. Hmm. Nah. Not great. Not great. Okay. So we're gonna try to grab that one. Maybe that one's the one that I'm looking for. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a dragon engine. Okay. That's not the one I was looking for. But hey. I want that nonetheless. Okay, so what we need to do... How big is that thing? I feel like that thing is huge. Uh, let's do some building. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's pop these off. I'm thinking we're going to make a big stick that's going to be on hinges. Okay, so we have this big stick here. Now, let's see if I throw on one of those... All right, now, can we make... Will that reach all the way down there? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Uh... <laughs> that thing is... The thing is actually way down there. Okay, we might have to... Uh... Hmm. We might have to crane this one out. Okay, so we have something like this. Now, ideally, what's going to happen... Is that we can pull that up all the way. And we're going to see how far we can extend down. Um, Man, I wish there was a way to put those on, ex like, not extended. Yeah. We're close, just not quite there. Okay. I, wa I need to put these on not extended. Actually, no, let's just do this. This will be easy. We'll just extend this down some, some more. All right, so now, yeah, because then we can suck this up all the way out of the water. Whoa, 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 you calm down there, guy. Push that all the way down. And then let's try. Oh. Okay. All right, all we have to do is get to the shoreline and we'll be good. I think. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe. 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 All right. Let's swap this out with this guy. Okay, come on. We might be we might be able to get this to work. All right, we need to Oh, come on, back out. Back up. Back up. Hey, what the heck? Okay, come on. We can do this together. We need this dragon engine so bad. Oh, you're not going to grab it? Oh, no, of course not. Of course not. Oh, okay. All right. Let's redo some things here real quick. All right. We're just going to put it on there like that. There we go. There we go. Back up. All we do is got to go backwards. Yes. Yes. What is a dragon engine? I have no idea. But, oh, you can bet that I want it. Dragon engine. Ha <laughs> ah! Okay, so let's hold on. Let's see here. Um, high acceleration, high top speed. Shoot. You know what I mean? You, you know, the game knows what I want here. I didn't even realize. I can't believe we were so close to that the whole time. Okay, so now if I grab these. Oh, they're tiny too. Heck yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. They're super tiny. Oh my gosh. Look at how fast my wheels get going. <laughs> These are the best thing ever. Oh my gosh. I've been missing out my entire life. Okay. So now, hold on. Okay, so that obviously wasn't the submarine thing that I was looking for. So where is it at? I people, I could have swore I was told that it was in a, it was like slightly underwater and you had to make like a big crane to get it out. But I thought that was it, unless it's like this one maybe? Maybe it's that one, because that one's only minus 25. That seems pretty darn deep though. Oh wait, Dive Island. There's there's something here too. Okay, let's go over there. Okay, so we got a couple salvage over here. So we've got one. I thought we had one here somewhere. Um, oh gosh. I don't think we're gonna be able to uh Maybe we could get that one? I mean, what are the odds that that's the one I'm looking for, though? You know what I mean? Basically, I need to make exactly what I just made to go down and get that and drag it on shore. All right, so let's swap out. Let's put this guy back together. And basically, we got to make the same thing. Oh, we got to go way. We got to go way down there, though. All right, first try. It's not going to be deep enough. No, come on! Oh, I feel like... Oh, I'm not even actually close to it. All right. <laughs> We're gonna have to build some more here. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, so more more buoyancy was definitely required. Uh, can we get in here? All right, we're gonna try to line this up. And we're gonna try to fish this thing out. I feel like I should have just made like a boat for this. Like a big barge. Okay. <laughs> this is not how this is meant to be done. Uh. Okay, we need to get over that way. A little bit. I feel like I feel like I have like one of those giant like oil rigs or something. They're like super tall, you know? Okay, that might work. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Come on, buddy. Oh! Darn it! All right, build mode again. I'm just gonna keep adding these. Um, I am, I got first person, I don't know how. Weird, I don't know, okay. All right, let's try this again. Whoa. Salvage reset. What is happening? Why why is it why is it what is happening? Why am I in first person view? Oh my my magnet's outside of my build zone now. Well I guess that one's just not gonna work. I also don't understand why I'm in first person view. I don't like this. Ah, oh, okay, it's C. If you get stuck in first person mode, it's C. All right, cool. Now, um, unfortunate that, we, I don't think we can get that one. All right, so we're not gonna mess with that one because I don't think we can do anything with it. Now, there is one over, there's one over here somewhere. Wait, are you up on this island right there? I think it's right there. Okay, so let's swap uh, Let's swap vehicles here. And let's see if we can grab that one. Uh, we're actually going to need this guy. We're going to have to... Oh, come on. Oh, I need to swap the motors out again. I need to save a blueprint of this thing once we swap motors out. All right, there we go. Much, much better. Okay, so what do we have... Okay, so what is this? Diving bell. Oh, that's the seat. That's the seat.
see it right there. It's called a diving bell. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, we need to get that out of there. So, I guess the best way to do that, maybe the hinge? I wonder if the hinge will... Will the hinge help us on this one? Possibly. All right, let's see if the hinge will help us here. Uh, if we get over it... Oh, we just touched it with our wheel. Okay, if we... if we Hold on. Eh, nope. Eh, eh. Backing... Buying... Going backwards is a pain. Okay, so if we do this... Hey, we got it! Oh my gosh. We've got the diving bell. We have it. And all I have to do is take it to that island right there. That's all I have to do. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, we have a submarine seat. I can't even wait for this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to build a submarine. All right, one diving bell. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a blueprint available for a sub too. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta check it out. Why is it always dark in this game? Oh my gosh. I was actually looking to see if there's like any commands to make it daytime because like it's super hard to see anything during the night, like during the night, but uh, not quite. Okay, so let's go ahead and assign that to, uh, let's assign that to four. And I want to build this thing. Four. Okay, so now. That's front and back. That's space. How do we go up and down? Uh, hold on. What is, what's the controls for these? Q and E? Okay. So there's that. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is super cool! Okay, it's kind of hard to control though. Like, I understand how this one's made, but I don't like the... I don't know if I like the back and the front or not. Maybe I do. Oh, this is super cool. Then we have sides. <gasps> we have a submarine. We've got a beautiful sub. Oh, there's so many things that we could do. Look at all the things that we could explore. <laughs> this is super cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so we are underwater. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. I like this, I like this. So we've got all kinds of fun things that we're gonna be able to do now. Oh my gosh. I gotta say the controls of this are a little bit interesting. But like, I understand it, I get it. I understand why they are the way they are. Now, I think we also, we have a magnet on the front. So, trying to get it so we can like just level out. Um, let me see what the, what's the controls for the magnet? Controls for the magnet is left control, okay. So let's go ahead and let's hop out of here. No, let's get out of build mode. I keep hitting escape. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Shoot. Uh, I forgot. Can't do that while you're underwater. All right. Sinking time. Forward. Space. Oh my gosh, it's super cool. <gasps> it's super cool. Okay. So let's go over here and let's try to grab... Let's try to grab one of these things that's underwater. Um, What was the one that I was trying to grab before? Was it this one right here? Oh my gosh. This is just so neat. It's so cool. I can't wait till it's like daylight. We can actually maybe see outside. Okay, so what do we have here? Are you just a piece of gold? Pretty sure it's just a piece of gold. Okay. So let's go grab this one. And let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Are we going to be able to lift this with this guy? I don't know. Salvage reset set reset what okay so let's go down left control nope 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 this way okay controls are a little weird with this uh do we have it i think we have it we're trying to level out here 
And let's just increase buoyancy. Let's get to the surface. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Uh, I don't think we have a reverse. All right, we're going to try to get this over here. Now, this is just an inverted corner two by two by two. Um, but I want to build, I want to build like my own little submarine kind of deal. You know, we need to make our all, all purpose vehicle land, water, and underwater. That's what I want to do. That is going to be our goal here. Okay. Can we ramp that up there? Can we let go of it? Heck yes, we can. Uh, I don't know how to back up. Okay. Hold on. Let's swap to this guy. Not enough space to perform that. Um, is there a, what are the controls on this configure? A. Okay. Oh, X. X is to go backwards. Okay. Cool. Oh, hey, look at that. We're good. Now, if we grab this. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't save the new motors. That's right. All right, we're going to grab this and bring this out. Oh, this is super cool. Okay, like this block, I'm not like super excited about. You know, it is what it is. But still, neat nonetheless. So let's just go ahead and move. Let's pull these off of here. Let's put a magnet on this one. That works. And that'll work. Okay, so let's just let's just snag this guy. Maybe if I have any power. Ugh, you know what? Let's put the new engines on it. All right. Activate our magnet. And let's just drag this sucker back here. Okay, come on. Come on. Get in there. Yeah! We got a block. We've got a block. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do, we need to, uh, we need to make a, we need to make an amphib vehicle. We need to make this vehicle better. So it's good on water and on land. So let's do a little bit of rebuilding here and see what we can do. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to delete this whole thing and we're going to start fresh. We're going to start a new and we do actually have to start with the diving bell because that's going to prevent us from getting out if we do go underwater for any reason. So cool, cool. Oh my gosh, this thing, this diving bell thing is sweet. All right, so I have this thing right here. Okay, so the back is a lot heavier. So I'm kind of looking. Okay, so now what we do is we have uh, steering. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's not exactly what I want. Um, okay, we're actually going to get rid of the hinges back here because I don't really want rear steering right now. I think the, the chassis, it's so narrow as it is. I don't really think we're going to need rear steering. Uh, but we will copy and paste this guy over here to basically reconnect our hinges, which need another one. Okay, so we have steering left and right on land. But then as you can see, uh, actually, that needs to be readjusted as well. Our hinge back here actually needs to be different. No, not you. This guy. So we need to swap these. So D and A. So we have on land turning left and right like that. And then in water, we should have that as well. Now, as you notice, the back ones go up and down. So if we hit forward, we're going to go down. S is going to take us up. Now, the problem is if we're going up, we're not going to be able to turn. Okay, let's just try this out. Let's see how, let's see how this works. Um, oh, also buoyancy stuff. Uh, what is the default configuration for this up and down? Okay, cool. I can dig that. So let's try this out. Let's see if this thing even floats as it is. Okay, so it floats good. Floats real good. Real good. Uh, but then basically we can lower buoyancy. Oh. Oh. The up and down, that's going to have to be on space bar. Okay. All right. We're going to have to redo that. Um, or the power for these anyways. Those are going to have to be on space bar. Actually, the power for all of these are going to have to be on space bar. Okay. Okay. So there's that. So now... Yeah, Boyce is going to go sky high again. But now we've got those. But we can lower our buoyancy. Lower it down all the way. We need to do a little bit of weight recalibrations here, but then we can do this. And we should be able to kind of control, not really at all. Um, 
Okay. So this is a terrible creation. <laughs> That's just not gonna work. Huh. You know, it might be better for me to uh, to take this blue this blueprint right here and build off of it just to get a basic understanding of everything. Let's just do that. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go ahead and swap this to submarine status here. And we're going to just have to utilize some of this because the way this is configured works out pretty good. Because you have down, up. And then we have, like, just going down. Yeah, honestly, gosh, this is, this is actually, it's so like the controls for this are super weird to me. Like, honestly, it's, it's pretty solid. The only thing that we really need to do to this is to get wheels on it. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah, this thing is actually pretty darn cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it works out. It actually works pretty good. Oh, it's so cool though. I love it. But I still want to make like my own, you know? We got to make our own thing. Hmm. I'm just kind of like looking and seeing how this thing is actually like functioning. Oh, it works. It like, it just works. And it keeps leveling itself out too, which is really nice because like mine was just flipping and flopping all over the place. <laughs> it was not good. It was not good. Then we could always go to the surface if we need to. Just boop. Uh, yeah, that pretty much stops us from going to the surface though. Oh, and that toggles it all the way down and all the way. Oh, okay. So I see what we got going on here. I kind of wish it was a little bit more clear underwater. I'd like to really be able to see this, you know? Yeah, this thing's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. I like it. I was just kind of playing with it a little bit. Pretty cool, pretty neat though. Now, I gotta say, I bet you the Steam Workshop is completely full of amazing, amazing contraptions. Like, I bet you there's some really good stuff out there. And I might have to take a peek. We might have to take a peek and start looking at some of this stuff just to get some ideas because I'm curious to see how th how people are doing things. Like, I bet you there's a, uh, a much more elegant version of a submarine. <laughs> I'm just trying to think like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna come up with something like this without it being like this? Because this is the only way I've seen it. Yeah, I love this thing. It's just, I don't, it's so much fun. It's so cool. Like I was like, ooh, I could throw more motors on it and stuff, but it's gonna throw off the balance of stuff. Oh, it's just so neat. Now we've got the magnet on there. Like this is the perfect vehicle to grab all that stuff from underwater, which is what we're gonna do. But that is going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, next episode, I have no idea. I just want to play with stuff. I really just want to play with some things and like just see how, how everything's going. I'd also like to get into flying too. I know a lot of people are uh, are telling me that like, oh, you're going to love the flying. So I'm excited to get into like actually creating like flying things. But oh, that's going to be like a whole other thing. But the submarine, hmm. I want to build, like I said, I want to build like a uh, an all-in-one kind of thing that would work as a submarine and something with wheels on it too. Like essentially adding wheels to this would be kind of nice. I could I could probably just do that, but I want to make it look a little bit neater. I was kind of like in my mind, I had like a um, a duck boat kind of thing with like, you know, it looks very like boat-like but with wheels on it, but then like have the, the diving bell on it and having some buoyancy blocks in order to make it submersible too i think that would be super neat oh my gosh anyways that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye everybody